This video is going to be focused on adding and editing effects using this model tool. So we've already added our model, we've resized it, we've repositioned it so that it looks good in game. I've gone ahead and attached a existing effect. This is an effect that's attached to uh, a Dragon Soul Spear. So to do that, of course, you're using Action 3D Effect to link to 3D Effect, which links to 3D Effect and 3D Texture. The way those are linked together, I've written a very large guide on it already, so I'm going to assume that you have either read it or will read it if you're confused. As you can see though, it doesn't quite line up, it's not quite the right size, uh, it's just it's not what we want. I would warn that we would not want to use this effect in general because it doesn't fit the shape of the weapon. As you can see here, this is for a much smaller spearhead, so it's never really going to look good on this weapon. Now, we might be able to uh, make some changes to it, but unfortunately, this is essentially just an X. So if, let's say, I hide one of the effects, it still shows on both top and bottom. Originally, I was thinking, oh, maybe I can just delete this section, not in the editor that we're able to use at the moment. Maybe that'll be something I'll change in the future. So as you can see, it doesn't line up in either but it's pretty similar. So it might not be 100% accurate, but we can get a rough fit just looking at it in the editor here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the parent object here so it moves both. And we're going to go ahead and uh, move the position down a little bit. Now you're going to have to do a little bit of trial and error here to, to make sure that you're positioning it properly. In, in this case, that's moving it forward. So we want to move it back into place. And there we go, that's the right one. So I probably want to move this down by about 10 units. That looks about right. And then we're going to want to move it over by about 10 units. Oh, apparently it's more like five. So we're going to move that over like one or two more units. And we're just going to assume that this is sort of a, a rough fit. Uh, if we move around the effect, as you can see, it's not perfect. It's not quite lining up but this effect is never going to look particularly good on this anyways. So we're going to go ahead and export this. We would select the overall parent effect there and we're going to export and it's going to be replacing, I believe it should be two. Yeah, two. So we're going to overwrite that and we're going to log back into the game to see how it looks. As you can see that is not exactly the way we want. We actually are, are too far down now. We need it moved up. So as you can see, there are some issues with this where it's, it's just not the correct transformation. Uh, so it's, it's not going to be overly easy to do. Uh, in this case, I believe it was Y that we needed to do. Let's move it up another 10 and export. And we can go ahead and preview that. So again, not exactly the way we want it, but that's just showing you how it works. If you notice a mismatch like that, where it's lined up perfectly in the editor, but it looks different in game, what I generally suggest doing is realign the weapon. So select the, uh, the weapon itself and move it. That way you're, you're adjusting sort of based on how it should look help if I edited Y. So this is around what it actually looks like in game. And at this point I now have it uh, showing as it should so I could go ahead and do the exact same thing but this time focusing on the effect, export it and then I would be done. Uh, now the biggest issue is always going to be hunting for effects so what I generally do is I just throw them in there hoping that it looks pretty good. For example this is a, a physical object that's going to rotate around the spear. That actually fits really really well with this theme. So what I would do is I would go ahead and attach that through all of my I and I files and then I would just reload this and uh, move it into position. I would also warn when you are editing you want to uh, toggle either to pre-multiplied or additive Additive means that there is no transparency data, so you just need to, to blend it. And uh, non pre-multiplied means that there is an alpha layer that's controlling transparency. The reason I mention that is because that is what the ADB value refers to. ADB2 means that it's additive, ADB4 
6 means <laughs> that it's uh, non pre multiplied. ADB 5 and 4 and 3, they seem to be used on a per effect basis. I generally would not use those, but if you want to see how the effect looks with them, go ahead and try them, reload the client. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it was very rough, but it'll give you a rough idea of how to add effects to an item. Thanks for watching.